Hello everyone, um, I just got cut. That was an absolute joke. After going through one of the worst hockey experiences I've ever had in my life, I had to get over the fact that I got cut from Baton Rouge in the Fed and find myself a new team. But before we dive into what I did next, let's roll that intro. So after a terrible time in Lafayette at Baton Rouge Attico main camp, I just wanted to get as far away from the situation as possible so that I could forget about it and regroup. There was no sense sitting around in Louisiana feeling sorry for myself, so I packed up my stuff in my car and started making my way back home. This is the stuff that makes people not want to enjoy hockey. It's unfortunate. Time was running out and I knew this was going to be a challenge, but there was nothing else to do but to keep moving forward. Okay, hello everyone. You're gonna have to regroup and figure out what's happening next for hockey because I don't have a team right now. Definitely not part of the plan to not have a team right now in mid-October, but it is what it is and you know what? Good things come from great opportunities and <laughs> there's no opportunity here, but um, you know what? We're gonna make an opportunity and that's, that's what's important. So even if it isn't going my way at the moment, we can fix it. You know what? We talked to my buddy Mike Pereira, who's currently in Finland, and he is talking to one of the Sumisaria teams in Division One about going there. And he said there might be an option for me to go as like a third string goalie. Never an ideal situation to start off as a third, but I'm not afraid of a challenge. You know, I'm just excited to see what comes. Things are very uncertain at the moment, but you know what? That's part of life. You know, you got to just take it as it comes and. Even though this is not what I'd envisioned for this season, but we'll make it work. And you know what? I do miss Finland. And if I get the chance to go back to Finland, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take it, you know? So we'll see what happens. We are currently almost in Tennessee. I found out that there is a NHL game tonight in Nashville. It's my favorite team, the Edmonton Oilers. They're playing the Preds. There's still some tickets left, so I might go watch Connor McDavid and dry saddle so that'd be pretty cool that's the plan so I'll see you guys at the NHL game okay see you bye so after hours and hours of driving I finally made it to Nashville we made it we made it Ryan Nugent Hopkins looks for to the side of the net what's on the score dry saddle strikes Bouchard gets it back puts it right into the trap and tap hold time Because Edmonton was beating Nashville so bad, a lot of people left their seats, giving me the chance to sit a little bit closer to the action. Final five seconds ticking down. Roberg clears, and there's the final horn. So Nashville gets 42 shots, but they fall 6-1. The big four goal first period, too much to overcome for the Predators. So after a big Oilers win at Bridgestone Arena, I enjoyed some live music on Broadway before continuing north through the states until I was too tired to keep going. Hey guys, we are uh, somewhere in Kentucky at a rest stop. 
and it's about one o'clock in the morning. Good drive, good little visit in Nashville, had some fun. Uh, I got the uh, car ready for bed. Got the, uh, the tint thing put on the windows. Gonna put this one up and then head to bed. After mediocre sleep in the back of my car, I woke up and got ready for the next leg of my journey. Okay, good morning everyone. I survived the night in Kentucky. We're headed back on the road. I am like out of gas, so hopefully I make it to the next gas station. Uh, didn't realize I was this slow till this morning, but we're cruising again and we're making our way back to Canada. Unfortunately, on the drive back home, I got a call with some sad news that my cousin had passed away in Boston. Family is very important to me, so when I heard the news, I knew I wanted to try to attend the funeral. I knew this would be another challenge, but I thought it was important to be there with my family. I still wasn't sure how I was going to make this work, but I knew I would figure it out. With even more running through my head, I continued my journey through America. <laughs> Okay guys, we got some bad news. Um, the car is uh, having another issue. The uh, bottom part here <clears throat> has fell off. So not ideal. It's kind of just scraping on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to try to get some hockey stuff and fix it up, hopefully. Not the ideal situation that I want to be in on the side of the road in, I think we're in Ohio now. Ah, here we are. Some good old hockey tape. Beautiful. This should fix it up nice and good. Oh, well, we got it. Now some a little hockey tape couldn't fix. Got oil all over my hand. Nice little shot there. See the hockey tape there underneath? Perfect. So that should that should work. Nice little dragger there. So that's that's uh, that's the fix. So we'll get back on the road, get some lunch, breakfast. I haven't even eaten today yet, actually. It's like three o'clock. I'm pretty hungry, but um, when you got places to be and people to see, sometimes you gotta postpone your food. So we'll get back in the car. This thing is looking like a disaster. It's almost like I've been living out of this thing for like two weeks. Anyway, that's all good. We're all fixed up. Time to head on the road again. So after many, many more hours on the road, I finally made it back to my home country, the land of beavers and maple syrup. We made it. Okay, everyone, we are back in Toronto at your boy Mello's house. Let's hope I can get inside this time. Well, looks like I might be sitting in the back of the car today. Ah, we're here, back in Canada. Still no real plan of what's going on, but we're gonna figure it out. That's what we're gonna do. And our what country we're going to, I'm not sure. What team I'm gonna play on, not sure either. And when I'm leaving, not sure, but probably Monday. Probably Monday we're gonna head to Portugal. Arrive probably Tuesday is my guess. And then from there, I'll be in Europe, so I'll be closer to a team, <laughs> hopefully. At the moment, leaning kind of towards going back to Finland because my ITC is there. Uh, the ITC is like your international hockey transfer card, so that's where my like, that's where I'm owned. I'm basically owned by Finland, kind of. So if I want to move that, that'll cost like a thousand dollars roughly. And because nobody knows about me or wants me at the moment, the odds of somebody wanting to pay that is pretty low. So. My best chance is to just show up somewhere in Finland and hope they take me. That's, that's the plan. I'd like to be in Sumisadia Division 1 as maybe like a third or a backup somewhere to start and then just try to like earn my spot. Or I love the Cowboys. I love you guys. I just know you guys have three goalies right now, so it's not really an option, I don't think. Yeah, we're in the midst of chaos, which is kind of fun. I, I don't want to say it's scary. It's just like... The own unknown is slightly more stressful. I'm not even really stressed though. Like I'm kind of just rolling with it, but it is a bit more, a bit more fun actually. I'd say it's a bit more fun. Like you don't know what's going on. It's like, who knows what the next step is. And you know, I kind of like that. I like being adventurous. 
it's, it'll work out. I have, I have faith. I have faith. So we'll see where this ends up. We're going to watch this clip back and be like, holy shit, Andrew, this is so cool where you are right now. I do feel like I'm heading back to Europe. So I think that's where we're at. But who knows? Maybe we're going to stay in North America. But I'd say that's like, if I had to put a percentage on it right now, I'd go like maybe like, I don't know, like 10%. No, probably lower. Maybe like 5% I'm staying in here. And then like 95% chance of going to Europe. Also, I love Europe, so let's 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 just go back to Europe. Fuck it, who cares? Let's do it. Okay, let's go inside. After a good night's sleep in Toronto at Mello's place, I continued my journey north to Sudbury. Okay, hello everyone. Good morning. Had a good night's sleep at Mello's house. Thank you, Sylvie and Stephen, for letting me crash at your place. In my time of need, saw Brandon again. He's at work, so he doesn't get to say hi to the vlog. But that's okay. We're uh, gonna make our way to Sudbury. Tonight, then I'm gonna pack up my stuff, reorganize for a flight. I booked a ticket to Lisbon last night, so we're gonna go get picked up by Wendy, stay there for a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, wait for a team in Europe to hopefully pick me up, and then uh, book a flight there. So, I'm doing some research on teams that would possibly be interested. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. We're gonna, we're gonna see what's happening. Love to go back to Finland, say hi to the boys. Yeah, maybe we'll see Archie and Mello again. That'd be pretty cool. This is Archie and that's Mello. So, uh, repack, replan, and get ready for some more hockey. I get it, it's easier if it's later. Okay, we are back in Sudbury. Wow, what a drive. It's been everywhere. You know, it's good to be home, sort of, <laughs> for a day. And you know what? Sudbury is a very beautiful place. I love how we have like the lakes and the rocks and everything. You know, city planning, that's a whole other thing. Like the roads are brutal, <laughs> but um, the actual like terrain is really pretty. And it's nice to see the leaves changing colors. So it's nice to be back during this time of year. Gonna go to Skater's Edge. Uh, I got some skates here and uh, they're giving me blisters so I'm gonna just try to reheat them again and just get my, you know, my feet feeling better. But um, we're in for another long journey to another part of the world so let's just enjoy the ride. See ya. Okay, quick little pit stop. Just wanted to give a shout out to my mom's pharmacy. Uh, this is Seasons. Seasons Pharmacy and Culinaria. Yeah, so this is it. Seasons Pharmacy and Culinary, uh, 815 Lawrence Street. Come check them out if you need any prescriptions or food or whatever. They have lots of good stuff here, so come come visit. Also just realized my car hit 200,000 kilometers. Congratulations, car, you did it. So after running a few errands in town, I returned to my grandparents' place in Whitefish so I can unpack and repack for Europe. Hey, Perry. What? <laughs> You're on I'm your back way. already. You're on your way again. You're back, short time. Yeah, so um, we have a big mess in your basement. I'm sorry, prepare. Got my clothes, my new goalie pads, my other goalie stuff, my old goalie pads, and all my camera gear things. So, it's uh, another day of packing. I do not like this part of the trip, um, but it's a uh, it's a part of it. Yeah, and it's uh, it's gonna have to happen. I have to condense this into. Uh, a very small area so I can bring it on an airplane and then I have to carry all this on my back so hopefully it's not too heavy but yeah we'll uh, we'll check in when we're more packed okay here it is we got the bags all packed up ready to go I'm gonna do a sample run on uh, test out how this is gonna go Aye, 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 aye. After packing all night, morning came quick as my dad picked me up early the next morning to make our way to Boston. <laughs> How do you like Quebec, Dad? I'm paying the fucking toll. <laughs> I didn't even know there was tolls in Canada like this. 
Welcome to Quebec. You're good. You're green. We just crossed the border into New York. We're close to where Archie lives. Uh, we're gonna be taking a left into Vermont though. So but anyway, just wanted to shout out Archie. We're near Plattsburgh, kind of. Okay. On the road again. Okay guys, here we are in Massachusetts, visiting with the family, and uh, I'm going to be heading to the airport tonight. We've been here for a few days uh, for Caroline's funeral. Uh, sad time, but it's uh, good to see everybody, so we we'll go inside and say hello. swiping on Tinder for matches. <laughs> That's a good part. Yeah, yeah. this is a good part. Do you have Tinder in Finland? <laughs> no comments. Why are you Real teaching question. over that accent? What? What accent? That's not me. Looks like you. That's not me. That looks like me. Everybody's like, you should come vlog, Andrew. And then it's like, this is what happens. There's never a good time to vlog here. <laughs> like, no. Oh. It's so funny, Derek. They didn't know. I love it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, that's cute. I should do that. I should. It's taking a video. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Brenna, what do you think? How's it going? It's going good. How are you? What do you think of the family? Eric, Get together. Yeah. Family insanity? Oh, the family insanity. Well, no, we can't together. talk about the family yeah, secret on the vlog. It's a secret. <laughs> okay. Is it much of a secret, though? Well, I don't know. It's a secret to the rest of the world. Okay. Okay, we can't tell everybody the family secret. Which one? Don't you know the first rule about keeping the family secret? Not talk about it? Yeah. <laughs> this is great content. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I know. I don't even know. Like, there's so much going on. How was your trip, Bobby, to, uh, you, went, you just came back from Japan? Amazing. Amazing? Amazing. Definitely recommend it. Actually, so recommended. Okay, yeah. so all over Japan. Away, and we get away from the touristy places. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, that was kind of mean. So she's like your mom. I know. Like a fish in the I know. Andrew, not my face. So we're still She's like, don't make that. Yeah. Three or four oh. You haven't seen the YouTube channels? No, I haven't. Okay. I'll subscribe. Yeah, it's a subscribe. Everyone like and subscribe to Andrew's channel. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the family? Uh, yes. I love you all. Nice. Yeah, old, advice for older Brenna. Stay chill always. Okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Where's your cousin? She's in a meeting. Hmm. Well, we have to say goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the cat. Remember the cat and, and Lois was like, um, the, the fur was all matted. And she'd go, oh, well, when she lets me brush her hair. And then she sits the cat down and the cat's going. Wasn't that your cat? It was like a gray and I'm like, I don't think that's normal for the cat. The cat's like, because it was so old. But the whole hair was all matted so bad. No, I, I still like the. The story about the birds. Yeah. Which, the, the birds the No, the ones that died. All oh, the 30 of them. Like, 30? Yeah. yeah, the kids killed and 30 birds. No, we didn't kill them. We fed them. So the birds were for three weeks, and they were like, and then they came up with some lie. And they were like, well, how they all died. And it's just like, oh, yeah. it was like they caught a tropical disease. <laughs> like, man, it might be my grandma. I was like, that's what you guys came up with? <laughs> Who was the time that you went to school and you told the teacher? that you guys are gonna get really skinny because your father went away. So, my father's going to put you for a month, so we're gonna get really skinny because that my father went away. That wasn't me, that was all right. Hello! Do you have anything to say to the vlog? This is a it's a video. That's what this I said. I said he yes. loves you. Yes. Love you. Good family reunion. Do you have any uh, advice for future, oh future Megan? Megan yeah. Future self will look back on this. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate being put on the spot. So, funny story about that, at the wedding, I like blacked out. Not in the blacked sense out. of being drunk, but sure. like, I got so nervous when doing like a speech to everyone. 
I was just like, okay, everyone, let's get fucked up. And everyone was like, okay, what the hell? He gave me like the dirtiest look across. Did he give a look? He always looks like, like that. that one? <laughs> <laughs> this is like my constant like thought now. Like I'm like. I call Brent, I'm like, why did I say that? Like, at least it could twice be a Tuesday, week. like at noon, and then I get a call from her, she's like, I'm having like really intrusive thoughts. Like, I'm thinking about the fact that I said, let's get fucked up in front of 200 people. I'm like, who cares? And now, like, when we're like joking around, like, or like we go out, I'll look, look at Megan and be like, let's get fucked up. <laughs> Marlon was like, I loved that. That was so cute. <laughs> Where's this? Where's the dog? Where, what's he doing? He's blowing in my toys. Yeah. Where should we take a picture that all of us can be seen? Outside. 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 Is that everybody? Oh, Where's Mario? Oh my god. Where's oh my god, my He's hair. up in the corner. Oh my god, my legs are burning. I know. I, my mother was not in bed at all. You want to know. Okay, everybody, we're taking a video yeah. picture. Yeah. 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 We said the short people in the front. It was right. windy. The hairs are here. Look at the hair. It looks great. This is, this is just my life all the time. Shut up! <laughs> The Rocha family is just complete chaos all the time. Why do you have to get your car on? You just say hello. Hello. <laughs> we are currently on our way to Scotty's. Cindy's calling me. Thank you. Hello. What's up? So yeah, so I'm here with Jerry, Emily, and Andrew heading back to the house. I decided to make Andrew um, vlog for us. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Archie and Mello know that I watch, we watch their videos. You're the one that you said that you wanted Archie to come by so you can meet him. If you think he's funny. <laughs> what? The boys think that they're um, celebrities, stuff like that. There's a bunch of Netherlands guys that I can't remember their names, but. Oh, Finland, Finland, Finland sorry. Yeah, Finland. 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 yeah the, whole sorry. Finish, the whole country Finland. of Finland is going to be so disappointed. Like... <laughs> Americans, right. they really know geography. Do you guys want some beef stew? Sure. Jerry said sure. All right. Of course he's vlogging right now. He was, I, was supposed to, I was just supposed to have my <laughs> cameo right now, and you just ruined it. Yes. Absolutely. You better clean really quick. <laughs> oh, you better change. I expect makeup, a dress. Yes, and your hair is always perfect. You better be perfect. <laughs> you got like five, ten minutes at the most. I'm dead serious. What do you think? I was joking about this? Cindy, it's true. I am taking the camera crew to the house. You better be ready. <laughs> Goodbye. Archie and Mello, how do you guys feel that I've taken your spots? <laughs> Pretty soon I have a background set up at the house with the American flag. There's gonna be a lake, maybe some lights, some, I don't know. It might be a little high tech. Actually, we could have had Bobby come. Oh, yeah. He's an actual director. Um, have you ever seen the TV show, Hawaii Five-0? Yeah, he's behind the scenes there, don't you worry. Um, actually getting paid big bucks. Not like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like me. Andrew gave me, uh, I think, a, a beer at the house or something like that for this. We're very low budget here at yes. the Renaissance Roach Vlog. <laughs> very low. We're in USA land now. Yeah. Does Jerry want to say anything to the camera? I uh, know, I'm just a chauffeur. I'm the taxi driver today. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, we paid for an Uber driver. I don't know these people. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi to Archie and Mello? I do! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Cooking up some good uh, food? She's in the rightful place, cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be here if you do that. <laughs> 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 the spontaneous tattoo today. Nobody can match them. The worst idea. If I win, they will all 
also get an I Love Sasha Komarov tattoo on the other leg. Tattoos, Do they like, still have it? They're permanent, yeah. No, but I mean, like, they haven't, like, they tattooed haven't over it. Okay, I do have to say, I think this is the best Renaissance Roach viewing area that I've ever seen. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> What's up, puppy? On the big screen. Renaissance Rocha hits the big screen. Either Jerry or me. Wait, wait. Hold on. Are these guys both uh, Canadian or? Yeah, uh, the middle one's American. Yeah. The new Renaissance Rocha vlog, everyone. Season three. I'm Archie from the USA. <laughs> Stop. Okay. You Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Renaissance Rocha. This is season three. I can't really see. This is see. Archie, and that's Mellow. <laughs> and we've hired actors to play Archie. Yeah, they needed somebody better looking. So, uh, <laughs> obviously, younger and more fit. <laughs> New and improved. It's great to be getting paid real money to play this. <laughs> they said that I could play hockey better than the guy that I'm playing or something like that. That's so what I've heard. Put, yeah. 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 I'm trying to cut back on water, so I've been drinking this. Is really good. <laughs> So how's your girlfriend doing, by the way? <laughs> she's not supposed to see this video. Yeah, she's, she's great. <laughs> she's actually crazy. I can tell you some stories. <laughs> but I shouldn't be on film now. Oh, wait. His brother. So she has a brother on she the team. She has two brothers on the team, yeah. Oh, two. The whole family's involved in this hockey thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That's funny. So how do you guys feel about being uh, back for season three? It's great. Oh, you know, awesome. um, I'd rather be playing somewhere else. No, actually. <laughs> I love yeah. Finland. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like yeah, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe. The more likes like we get, the better we do. Yeah. Yeah, not many people like me, but they'll like this video. <laughs> I'm about to wrap. Oh my god, that's awesome. So after a nostalgic throwback to season two and witnessing one of the coolest places to watch Renaissance Rocha, it was now time to catch a ride with Richie so that I can make my way to Portugal and hopefully a little closer to finding myself a team in Europe. Okay, everyone, we made it to the airport. It's time to pack up all the bags. And the journey begins of chaos. So excited. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please hit that like button, that subscribe button down below, leave a comment. It's been really cool interacting with all of you guys. I'm really trying my best to get to all the comments, but there's a lot. I uh, still can't believe how many people have seen the last video. It's been crazy. I really appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, it's been really cool to hear all your stories. And I hope you guys follow along for the rest of this journey. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in Portugal.